she used the word she knew would hurt me. She said I never could be true. I've tried, I've tried, my little darling, to prove my love is just for you. And I've got a letter from my darling. She said she hated to go. It broke my heart, the words she wrote me. She closed by saying, I love you so. That letter meant goodbye forever Though we have each other's hearts Our love will fade away in sadness Precious one, why did we have to fall? And I've got a letter from my darling She said she hated to go it broke my heart, the words she wrote me She closed by saying I love you so Give me some, y'all from my darling She said she hated to go It broke my heart the words she wrote me She closed by saying I love you so Well she closed by saying I love you so Traveling down the musical highway next. Uh, We're going to do a uh, special need, treat for you. What do you think, y'all? Yeah, I need, need uh, a little bit more fiddle. Uh, y'all needs a little bigger fiddle. A little bigger. Uh, a little more fiddle up. Yes. More fiddle up. Yes. All right. I believe we can accommodate. Do you want me to go home? <laughs> Just give us a chance. I think we got a situation here. Maybe. Write the lyrics on 100, bring it up. Let me introduce this banjo player. Uh, familiar to these parts. Born and raised in Montana, I believe. Came this way in, in the 90s. 95. Playing with a uh, wonderful, fabulous band. Started here locally called New Vintage. How many remember New Vintage? Put out some good albums, I'll tell you that. We're gonna let her kick this off. This is a uh, one she did the other week. We played a gig together in Chapel here, we, Chapel Hill. We only play a few times a year together. This is one you may be familiar with called the Gospel Plow. One day, fought ahead and tried to pray. All to hear that preacher preach that gospel plow. The preacher said, I must repent. So, right down the aisle, I went. Keep your hand on the plow and hold right on. Oh, hold on. Hold right on. Told that 
It's a first class city where the streets are gold. Keep your hand on the plow and a ride on. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, all them prophets are dead and gone. Keep your hand on the plow and hold right on. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold right on. Hold right on. Keep your hand on the plow and hold right on. Paul and Silas were found in jail, had no money for to go to bed. Keep your hand on the plow and hold right on. Paul and Silas finished out, the doors threw open and they ran out. Keep your hand on the plow and hold right on. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold right on. Hold right on. Keep your hand on the plow and hold right on. There was Peter so nice and neat, wouldn't let the Savior wash his feet. Keep your hand on the plow and hold right on. Peter grew anxious and said, wash my feet and my hands, my head. Keep your hand on the plow and hold right on. Oh, hold on. Hold right on. Hold right on. Keep your hand on the plow and hold right on. Got my hand on the gospel plow. I wouldn't take nothing for my journey now. Keep your hand on the plow and hold right on. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold right on. Hold right on. Keep your hand on the plow and hold right on. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold right on. Hold right on. Keep your hand on the plow and hold right on. Miss Julie Elkins, Thank what you. a wonderful song. Woo. We're going to attempt one right now, and I don't know why, but we're going to do it anyway. That's right. Ain't nobody here but y'all, right? Uh, this is the uh, second song Yon, Yon played for me that night. We had the privilege of traveling to the great state of Kentucky many moons ago. Had a fella close to your heart was with us that, that, that trip. That was That's a right. fine trip, too. We got, went up to uh, Bill Monroe's home place there in Kentucky. Ohio County, Kentucky, to be exact. Yeah. We went stomping through near, the woods there. We had a fella pigeon. that showed us where Monroe hung out. But this uh, next song, you're probably familiar with it. It's one about his uncle called Uncle Penn. We'll try it anyway. <laughs> Oh, the people would come from far away to dance all night to the break of day When the caller hollered, do si do we knew Uncle Ben was ready to go Late in the evening about sundown, on the hill and above the town Uncle Ben played a fiddle, Lord, how it rang, you could hear it talk, you hear it sing Well, they played a little tune, soft told you joy, and the one called Boston Boy. The greatest of all was Jenny Lynn, to me that's where feeling began. Late in the evening, about sundown, on the hill and above the town, Uncle Pim played a fiddle, Lord, how it rang, you could hear it talk and hear it sing.
I'll never forget that mournful day when Uncle Ben was called away. We hung up his fiddle and he hung up his bow. We knew it was time for him to go. Late in the evening, about sundown, high on the hill and above the town, Uncle Ben played the fiddle, Lord Hyde rang. You could hear it talking, hear it sing. Late in the evening, about sundown, high on the hill and above the town, Uncle Ben played the fiddle, Lord Hyde rang. You could hear it talking, hear it sing. All right. Thank you for that warm reception. We're going to slow it down again. If you feel like dancing, do so. Just don't knock over anybody's coffee. I believe I first heard this song. Uh, Red Allen recorded this many moons ago. Red Allen. He did a fabulous version of this song, and that's exactly where I heard it yes, from. Right. Said we've got to try this song. It's a sad song. It's not a real pick me up, but it's one entitled uh, "Plant Some Flowers." Plant some flowers by my graveside. Just a little bunch of them Makes no difference what they are, dear Since your hand has planted them Well, darling, when you pass the graveside And see my name up on the slab won't you stop a little while, dear? For I will be so lonesome there. Plant some flowers by my graveside. Just a little bunch of them. Makes no difference what they are. Now you will do this, won't you, darling? For this will be my last request. Makes no difference what they are, dear. For I'm the one that loved you best. Plant some flowers by my grave. Just a little bunch of them Makes no difference what they are, dear Since your hand has planted them Makes no difference 
what they are, dear, since your hand has planted them. Well, since your hand has planted them. Well, I appreciate y'all preaching putting up with us. What are we doing next? I tell you what, let me introduce this this guy who's actually perking me up playing this mandolin over here. He's old Spence. Anybody know this gentleman? He's a he's he's a he's a fine musician and a fine human being at that. And he's gonna sing this next one for you. One of my favorite ones he does. It's one entitled Tell Me Baby Why You've Been Gone So Long. Mr. Spencer Mobley. Mr. Spencer Mobley. <laughs> Travis. Every time it rains, Lord, I run to my window. All I do is hang my head and moan. Wolf scratching at my door, Lord, Lord, I can hear that lonesome wind moan. Tell me, baby, now why you been gone so long? Tell me, baby, now why you been gone so long? You've been gone so long now. Tell me, baby, now why you been gone so long? Scratching at my door, Lord, Lord, I can hear that lonesome wind moan. Tell me, baby, now why you been gone so long? Said we're wrong, but Lord, what do they know? Tell me, baby, now why you been gone so long? Tell me, baby, now why you been gone so long? You've been gone so long now. Tell me, baby, now why you been gone so long? Well, I'm scratching at my door, Lord, Lord, I can hear that lonesome wind moan. Tell me, baby, now why you been gone so long? I'll go get stoned now And let your memory flood my mind Drink a fifth of Thunderbird And try to write a sad song Wishing that you come back sometime Tell me, baby, now why you been gone so long? You been gone so long now Tell me, baby, now why you been gone so long? Oh, scratching at my door, Lord, Lord, I can hear that lonesome wind moan. Tell me, baby, now why you been gone so long? Oh, tell me, baby, now why you been gone so long? Oh, that was mighty fine. And I love that song. Hey, Spencer's on fire here. All right, we're going to take it on back, way on back. Leave the Carter family song here, is that right? They claimed it anyway. I believe so. AP got it for somebody. AP, AP picked it up at the hardware store. One of his collection. We'll just get, in, we'll just get right into it because it's got about four verses, six turnarounds. And it's one entitled Worried Man Blues.
Well, I went across the river and I laid down to sleep. Oh, I went across the river and I laid down to sleep. I went across the river, I laid down to sleep. When I woke up, I had shackles on my feet. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. I'm worried now, but I won't be worried long. Well, 21 links, a chain around my leg. Oh, 21 links, a chain around my leg. 21 links, a chain around my leg. And on each link, the initials of my name. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. I'm worried now, but I won't be worried long. What will be my fine? Oh, I asked the judge, well, what will be my fine? I asked the judge, what will be my fine? 21 years on that Rocky Mountain line. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. I'm worried now, but I won't be worried long. If anyone should ask, now who wrote this song? Oh, anyone should ask, now who wrote this song? Anyone should ask, who wrote this song? Tell him it was me, and I sang it all day long. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. I'm worried now, but I won't be worried long. I'm worried now, but I won't be worried long. All right, that was fun. Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to introduce the uh, gal standing behind me holding us together as best she can do. She says some things are about impossible. But How many know this gal? Yeah. If you don't know her... She's been around the bluegrass scene for many years with Jan and uh, Julie. She did play in New Vintage for a while as well. And we're going to get her to do one tonight. Are we doing uh, we doing the one we worked up back there? Are we doing the one on this? Okay. The one in D, yes. We're doing I Wonder Where You Are Tonight. Is that right? How many know that song, I Wonder Where You Are Tonight? Give a big hand to Miss Gina Britt, would you please? Gina's gonna sing this old uh, fabulous number here. In the key of B, whenever y'all ready. you though you left me I wonder where you are tonight that old rain is cold and slowly falling upon my window pane tonight and though your love is even colder I wonder where you are tonight Thank you. 
find another Mighty fine, Miss Gina Britt. We got time to do one more before we take a short recess. If y'all are okay with that, they'll give you time to get up, stretch your legs, go to the bathroom, and replenish your coffee mugs. Get some got, food up there too. Plenty of stuff going on. We got we got some uh, surprise. <coughs> We've got some surprise. We do. <coughs> yeah. Uh, something that uh, it's a I surprise to all of us. Yeah, it's, it's a surprise to everybody. So just. Chill out. <laughs> but most importantly, it's glad to see all of you. I've seen a lot of your faces. Hadn't seen them in a while. It's nice to do this every once in a while, isn't it? It's really good. Yeah. I, I see people here I haven't seen. Them. Hearing some uh, music that we all Seven love weeks. and like to play. You know, I see a lot of old students. That's great to see them. Joanne. It is. It's a great establishment. Keep yeah. supporting Lorraine. She put this on. All right, we're going to uh, play an instrumental for you. It's one in, uh, that is made famous by a fellow Commonwealth guy from Virginia. It's one entitled The Clitch Mountain Backstep. Thank you. 
We'll be back. Hello, check one, two. Hey, everybody, I got a special treat for you here. I want you to say hello to Lydia. Give Lydia a hand. Lydia's going to run through a quick number, and I'm going to try to help her. This is one of Mr. Johansson's students here. All right, let me get my guitar on. This is one called Bow Them Cabbage Down. She actually, we just met. So, but hopefully, she says she signed up, so I'm going to just... Said you signed the contract. So. <laughs> but any, uh, Lydia, Lydia, Miss Lydia is gonna play. She's a fiddle woman, right. you can tell, and and uh, she sounds awfully good. She learned to play uh, at the uh, Red, White, and Bluegrass Festival near Morganton. That's where she first got introduced to the bluegrass fiddle. And we're gonna play an old tune that. It's like a standard for violin students or fiddle students. It's called uh, Fall and Cabbage Down. Very good, very good. I might have to take lessons from her. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, we have some some more musical guests here. Okay, we're gonna do uh, Amazing Grace. The old Miss Mary Rose, give Mary Rose a hand. Right? That's a beautiful name. October 10th, I'm going to do, like, in, I'd like to say instead of a, a recital, I'm going to have my students come here and, and on the stage and play. That's October 10th, so mark your calendars. Several of you will be on this stage on that day. There are so many musicians here that we could have several bands, you know. Mm -hmm. Sam Gore, it's good to see you. Sharon. We have some more, yeah, before, we're going to have a guest mandolin player here. Later, yeah. You later, and she is one of my old students, actually, and uh, she's the owner of this place. And really, what a, what a great place this is. This, this is what everybody... You know, this is really what everybody has been wanting for so long some place to go and, and, you know, listen to bluegrass or, or you know, ac acoustic music or, or whatever music, and, and then also come to a jam session and play with 
like-minded people. It's not always easy to find like-minded people <laughs> if you like this kind of music. But anyway, uh, so Lorraine here makes things happen. We, we all talk about a bunch of things, and she actually makes those things materialize, and that's pretty good. So big, give a big uh, bluegrass howdy to Lorraine here. Thank you. Thank you, Yon. That's, uh, that's mighty nice of you to say that. Uh, Yon, uh, Yon was my, uh, the only teacher I've ever had as far as playing bluegrass. Uh, I like your Carolina Road shirt, by the way. Yeah, that's cool. You must have got in free tonight, didn't you? Should have. Uh, we'll start making a new rule. If you wear a Carolina Road shirt, you get in free. How about that? Ben might not like it. I don't know. But anyway, for those of you that don't know me, I am Lorraine Jordan, and they named this place after me, and, uh, <laughs> which means uh, I get free drinks, and um, I'm really excited about what's going on here. I appreciate what y'all said, and there see some new faces in here tonight, and see some people that, that come a lot and all the time. We have some people that come all the time, and we have some that, that are, are new and come once in a while, and that's what makes it so very special, and I always wanted to... Uh, to have a place where you could have live acoustic music without it having to be a bar. And, uh, you know, because, because look at all the children that are in here and all, all, this, all the special kids that are here tonight. And, you know, when I was little, I never could go anywhere to hear live music because if I went anywhere, I had to go to a bar scene. Or church would have some... Uh, gospel music, but if I wanted to go hear somebody really lay down on a five-string banjo, you know, I couldn't find a place. There were no coffee houses or anything when I was coming along, so I always had this dream to do this, and I kept thinking I was going to retire from the road, and uh, I keep thinking that. We, we got a CD coming out in June. It's going to be called Country Grass. My goal is to see that CD through, and I hope it does as well as the last CD, and then maybe slow down a little bit and maybe... Maybe be here with a house band every now and then. So who knows, Gina? You, can, you tried that once, didn't you, Gina? It, <laughs> it's, uh, it's hard to do it, but, uh, you know, someday you just got to think about some other things, too. Your parents get older, you get older, you know, your dogs get older, everything gets older. But, uh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, you know, I, that, that's in my mind. But, but, but I, so I knew I couldn't go without music, so I wanted to have a place to play music. But be looking for that CD. It, it might be out um, in the next couple of weeks. It's got 11... Uh, country legends singing on it like Lee Greenwood and John Conley and John Anderson and lo lots of lots of big nice people singing on there with us and it's called Country Grass. Now I'm going to tell you we have, a, we have special bands here come all the time and I'm, I'm not going to name them all but uh, we have a concert schedule should be on your table there and there, there's extra ones. I will make mention that Dale Ann Bradley uh, female vocalist of the year for IBMA for so many years She'll be, she'll be coming up with us soon. Uh, that's May 16th. And uh, I also make mention that Saturday night, uh, Pine Castle recording artist, uh, my husband plays over on that band, The Gentleman of Bluegrass will be here. And uh, that's a really good, really good vocal band. If you, and a $5 cover, you can't beat it. Well, I'm going to make you, we have to do some sponsorship with some commercials here. Uh, Tim White with Song in the Mountains. Uh, he's one of our sponsors and helps us and with marketing and all. And he wants me to tell you he's got a bluegrass cruise going on. And he's got uh, Steve Dillon in sideline and uh, myself and Joe Mullins on there. And we're going to leave February 22nd, and we're going to take a bus from right here. You can park your car here for a week or get dropped off. The bus will take you to the cruise, pick you, you know, it'll drop you off, and then it'll pick you right back up. And uh, so that's a bluegrass, it's called Song of the Mountains Bluegrass Cruise. We got flowers here about it on the back. We also uh, have a lady who does <coughs> the bus tours. Her name is, is uh, Paula, and it's called uh, Southern Cruise and Travel. And we're going to Pennsylvania in July. We're going to one of the biggest bluegrass festivals there, there is. It's called the, uh, the uh, Remington Ride Bluegrass Festival. They had about 6,000 people there last year. And they've got anybody who's anybody in bluegrass playing there. And uh, we're going to take a bus to uh, Lancaster and to the Hershey Factory and... Uh, all those names that I am not going to say uh, that, you know, uh, in Pennsylvania, they're so hard to pronounce. Or, uh, Bird in the Hand, uh, the Amish Experience. If you've not ever been to Pennsylvania, you can ride the bus. We're going to see all that. And then we're going to the Bluegrass Festival on uh, 
Friday with Remington Rod. And uh, and uh, it's a it's a great it's a great trip right here. It's called uh, Boogies. No, it's not. It's Buggies. <laughs> Buggies and Bluegrass. I wonder what. Okay. <coughs> Hey, I thought I had a ghost in my house for a long time, the past couple of weeks. I mean, y'all watch me on Facebook. We found a pet snake in there. Well, uh, but, uh, some, anyway, but anyway, we got him. We, I got him $150 for him after critter control came, so somebody's pet got loose. I think my, my, my dog sitter went and got some old stuff out of a house where she used to live, and I think she brought back a pet snake with her. Huh? <laughs> No, it wasn't Marsha this time. She brought some kind of thing looked like a rabbit rat one time, though. <laughs> yeah, a chinchilla. I tell you, uh, we're also taking the bus to Christmas in the Smokies. How many of you have been to Christmas in the Smokies? Anybody in here? Um, it's uh, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. It's the second weekend of December. It's a Christmas festival because this is a Christmas town. And uh, Marty Raven, Doyle Lawson, Paul Williams, uh, all kinds of folks will be there. Malthus Brothers will be with us this year. We're taking a bus from here, and uh, we're going to be there all weekend long. And uh, we're all, not only are we going to the festival, but we're going to Dixie Stampede and all kinds of places. Something I'm real, real, real excited about that's going on here right now, every Sunday we have a church here. It's called Just Jesus Community Church. I play bass with the praise band. And it's a musician's church, not just people that play, but people that like music, too. We do, we do praise and worship through music. So 1030 to 1130 every morning right here. Um, also let you know, Monday, uh, Tuesday night is our bluegrass jam. Anything that you play on Tuesday night, a banjo has to fit in with it. And uh, so we call that the bluegrass jam. If a banjo can't roll to it, you can't play it. And uh, Monday night is our, yeah, yeah, we did. We, we got that going on, don't we? And then Monday night is just the opposite. It's no blue, no banjo allowed night jam session. So uh, that's your country, Americana, and all that. So uh, don't forget, you know, it's not just for people that pick. You know, we have, we have a lot of people in the audience that, that watch, and we set up a little circle right there, and we get up and, and play. So uh, it's open mic. Teresa, what, do, what, did you get a date? Uh, Kosu Ramblers, when are they playing here? In June? July, yeah. All right. Who else is playing in here? Anybody else want to mention their night? Any other? Where's all the musicians? John was talking about. That was. It's gonna be playing in here. Well, well, I'll tell you what I'm playing in here then. Um, let's see here. Um, oh my gosh, it's not till June the 19th. Who does the booking around here? That's a long time from now. Denise is on my brand new gospel CD. She's singing with me on that, so I'm excited to, to have her a part of that. But anyway, we're going to get back to some music right now. Um, and uh, I know this is a great band. Uh, I did take mandolin lessons from Yon, I think. How many did we have, Yon? How many mandolin lessons did we have? Yeah. Uh, was I always late to them? I don't know. I was hardly ever But anyway, it was, uh, he taught me the Monroe style and, uh, and uh, I hadn't won any Manlin Player of the Year awards yet, so I don't know, y'all. You, maybe you got to do a little better job <laughs> with me next time. But I'll tell you what, Julie. Now, Julie, where's Julie? Julie was my vocal teacher. She taught me singing lessons. And and Julie, you uh, it paid off this year because me and you brought home traditional female vocalists this year. So, folks, if uh. If you wanna, if you wanna play or if you wanna sing, you got a band on here on stage tonight that uh, a lot of them are into teaching, and uh, they're great musicians. Uh, they they can they all play circles around me. They're great singers and they're just good people and they're a lot of fun. And I'm looking forward to the to the second set here. I did have to let Marcia go get some supper, so but she didn't want to come. She said she hears him play all the time, so I could come. That's Sean's daughter. Ladies and gentlemen, you got Gina Britt, one of the greatest singers and uh, banjo players and bass players there is. Julie Elkins plays the kind of banjo style. It's uh, all any kind you want to hear. She came out, moved out here from the West, and came here. And what a what a wonderful thing that's been to have her. Spencer, who went out with uh, uh, the man from Pennsylvania and cheered with him for a while, Danny Paisley, and we were real proud of him for that. And uh, Gina, you're still playing with Grasstown, that right? Still playing and. Uh, Sister Sadie. And I may be, yes. I may be here with Dale Ann. 
And she may be here with Dale Ann, and that's a treat to get to hear them two sing together. Now, I'm going to tell you it is. And also, um, we got uh, Mr. Uh, Yon Johansson playing the fiddle here, leading this group tonight. And uh, one of the most uh, underrated singers there is, and uh, he's, he's done some recording uh, years ago in the studio that we had. He's a great singer. I love to hear Scott sing. Would you please make them welcome? I guess they're calling themselves... Yon Johansson and friends. Thank you. All right. We got all sorts of special treats lined up. What time y'all ready to go home? All right. Ow. Just getting adjusted, readjusted. Yeah, we, we, we. <laughs> yes, sir. numbers and we're gonna have some special guests come up. They just don't know it yet. Do I know? They don't even know yet that they're gonna be in That's exactly That's right. That's part of the surprise. That's the surprise. We knew about it, they didn't. So if you think it might be you, you might want to start warming up silently in your seat. <sighs> Nobody's safe. Oh, this is one entitled Dim Light Stick Smoke. Dim lights, thick smoke, and loud, loud music 
is the only kind of life you'll ever understand. Dim lights, thick smoke, and loud, loud music. You'll never make a wife to a home loving man. Well, a home and little children mean nothing to you. A house filled with love and a husband so true. You'd rather have a drink with the first guy you meet. And the only home you know is the club down the street. A dim light, stick smoke, and loud, loud music is the only kind of life you'll ever understand. Dim light, stick smoke, and loud, loud music You'll never make a wife to a home-loving man Well, a dancing and drinking to a honky tonk man is the only kind of life you'll ever understand. So go on and have your fun. You think you played it small? I'm sorry for you and your honky tonk heart. A dim light, stick smoke, and loud, loud music. It's the only kind of life you'll ever understand. Dim lights, stick smoke, and loud, loud music. You'll never make a wife to a home-loving man. Dim lights, thick smoke, and loud, loud music is the only kind of life you'll never understand. Dim lights, thick smoke, and loud, loud music you'll never make a wife to a home loving man. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. What do y'all want to hear? All right, silence. We got that. We got that one down. We've got that one down, Pat. We're trying to figure out what we want to do here. We've got so many options. I think we're going to have Gina sing one back here on the bass. She's going to do it for you here in the key of A, if y'all are following along. It's called the Prisoner Song. For I have a sad story to tell you Must be told in that moonlight alone If I had a ship on the ocean All mounted in silver For I have a sad 
good story to tell you must be told in that moonlight alone. Miss Gina Britt, how about that? Hey, Jan's got a special uh, guest going to approach the stage. Jan, call him up to the stage. Yes, sir. Becky Johnson. Becky Johnson. Do we have a Becky Johnson the in the house? Bluegrass woman. I've known Becky for <clears throat> I've known Becky forever. I I think we it must have been like in '87 or something like that. I was staying in Asheville at the time, and our 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 friendship goes way back, and and uh, she. She has, we're sort of kindred spirits in a way, and we, we really like a lot of the same music. The most well-known bluegrass song is about the state of Kentucky. To the state songs of the state of Kentucky. Blue Moon of Kentucky. Yep. Blue Moon of Kentucky. Johnson. Blue Moon of Kentucky. Keep on shining. Woo. 
Uh, Becky has a, a radio show. What what are the call letters? Uh, w C O N out of the Art Center in Tap in Carboro. Yeah, W C O M L P F M. It's a little community station in Carboro, North Carolina. The 100 watt wonder. <laughs> <laughs> It is 100 watts, but, but you can hear it online, wcomfm.org, every Wednesday, 2 to 4 p.m. And um, my biggest fans, aside from you all, of course, are in Japan. And they get up at 2 in the morning the next day to listen to me. So hope you'll listen in. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much for that. I love that song. We got a, uh, a number that's kind of bluegrassy, kind of not, kind of country. It's totally country. From the, the country man himself, Mr. Hank Williams Sr. One called Your Cheating Heart. Your cheating heart will make you weak You'll cry and cry and try to sleep But sleep won't come the whole night through Your cheating heart will tell on you Come down like fallen rain. You'll toss around and call my name. You'll walk the floor the way I do. Your cheating heart will tell on you. someday and crave the love you threw away that time will come when you'll be blue your cheating heart will tell on you when tears come down like fallen rain You'll toss around And call my name You'll walk the floor The way I do Your cheating heart Will tell on you Your cheating heart will tell on you. Thank you so much. Footprints in the snow, that's a fine number. I don't know if we can... Yeah, we got to have some more people here. Uh, that's it. Let's, get, let's do a... Uh, yeah, we have a guest. You want to do something before? Let's Chris? let uh, Mr. Spencer sing this one, then we're going to get Mr. Okay. Chris Sharp up here. Yeah, How about that? that's right. That's right. Anybody know Chris Sharp? Chris Sharp is a young man first met in Asheville in, I think, 1986 or 87. And he bought a fiddle from me. And uh, he was a young man. He was like probably 16 or something like that. And uh, he is, he's really uh, had quite a, a career in music. And, uh, now he decided that he needs to get a real job, so he went to school and became a computer programmer. 
which I'm sure is a lot more, yep. let's say, uh, lucrative. Than this is a, a tune I reckon it started out with Uncle Dave Macon, but uh, it's best known from Flat and Scruggs for sure in bluegrass music, and uh, it's been done a lot throughout the years. It's called Down the Road. Lives a pretty girl named Pearly Blue About to high and her hair is brown Prettiest thing boys in the town Well every day and Sunday too Go to see my Pearly Blue Don't know why I love her so A gal of mine lives down the road Most any old time Old man Flatty owns a farm From the hog lot to the barn From the barn to the rail They just live back here in the mill Souls right on my shoes. Don't know why I love her so. Gal of my lips down the road. Well, now down the road, a mile or two, lives a pretty girl named Pearly Blue. That's high and her hair is brown. Prettiest thing boys in the town. Hey, give a warm welcome. Jan was just mentioned this fellow here, Mr. Chris Sharp, please. Chris, it's good to see you here again tonight. Uh, I hadn't seen him in about 10, well, I saw him a few weeks ago, but before then, it had been like 10 years, I, I believe. Last really? I saw him was in Todd, North Carolina, at a Dobro workshop. He uh, probably best known for his work with John Hartford. Anyway, uh, from near Asheville, North Carolina, I make welcome Chris Sharp. Uh, uh. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, um, the, the best, uh, I used to play fiddle back before um, I realized how much easier it was to play in tune if you had frets. The, the best fiddle I ever owned I bought from Jan. Well, thank you. It was back in the what, late 80s? Yep. Yeah, this is uh, Kent. This is this is uh, my son Kent. He hasn't figured out that stages people are looking at him, or either that or he doesn't care. He just turned three. I'm pretty pretty happy with him. Say hello. Come on, what? Well, we do want to say thank uh, Lorraine again for having us out here this evening, and thank all y'all for coming out and listening to us, and uh, thank. Um, Chris and Jan are settling on the tune they're going to do for you here. What you got picked out? Steamboat Whistle Blues. What key is this in? Key of F. Key of F. I crossed the river, I fell fast asleep. I crossed the river, I fell fast asleep. Across the river I fell fast asleep When I woke I had shackles on my feet I thought I heard that steamboat whistle blow Thought I heard that steamboat whistle blow Thought I heard that steamboat whistle blow Would blow like she's never blowed before
I said, Judge, what might be my fine? I said, Judge, what might be my fine? I said, Judge, what might be my fine? Sixty days away on down the line. I thought I heard that steamboat whistle blow. Thought I heard that steamboat whistle blow. Thought I heard that steamboat whistle Never blowed before. Sixty days in a lonesome jail to go. Sixty days in a lonesome jail to go. Sixty days in a lonesome jail to go. I can't hear that steamboat whistle blow. I thought I heard that steamboat whistle blow. Thought I heard that steamboat whistle blow. Thought I heard that steamboat. Never blowed before. I thought I heard that steamboat whistle blow. Thought I heard that steamboat whistle blow. Thank you, Chris. Uh, Thank very you. Good. Very good. Thank you. I guess, uh, see, Lorraine, are you ready? No way. She is definitely no stranger to this stage. But uh, I think we're going to do the bluegrass breakdown. You know, uh, Yon, I don't know if you remember this or not, but uh, the first fiddle tune you ever taught me was old Joe Clark. Okay. And, yeah, uh, on the fiddle, yeah, that's yeah. right. I think, used to play fiddle. Yeah, it was like three three lessons, wasn't it? <laughs> you came and dra dropped the fiddle off, I think, and we had some work done, and then you kind of picked it up. And that's yeah. <laughs> that's about it. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> but we had a mighty fine time. Yeah, we had a good that. socializing time. It was and a socializing time. And, and years later, I, I became one of her band members. In the, Early stage. What was the Lorraine? Uh, well, actually, Ramona. You were actually the original fiddle player. You sure were. And uh, yep. your picture's somewhere in a picture somewhere up here. And we're from Ramona the Church. Wall. And uh, we went to Europe together. We did 11 day tour, right? That's right. From Switzerland all the way up to Sweden. Uh, you went to Sweden. I didn't go to that's Sweden. Right. That's he right. wanted to go to Sweden. I said, oh, it's too cold over there for me. <laughs> so. So I got a plane. I got a plane and went to some little place called Amsterdam. It's a wonderful town, actually. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, Lorraine is going to do one of the. Uh, this is really old stuff. This was recorded in '46, I believe. With, with, uh, Scrubs, Lester Flat, Chubby Wise, and uh, no, Howard no. Watts on the bass. One thing you told me, and I'll tell them because I know a lot of people here are even talking about you know taking lessons. They've heard you play and they're talking about taking some lessons, but. When Yon taught this, uh, taught this bluegrass breakdown to me, one thing he told me is he said it represents every lick that Bill Monroe ever does. And uh, I remember you said it had the horse trot in it, and it had the downstroke, and it had the upstroke, and it had the tremolo. And he said everything that Bill Monroe plays is in this one song. And so when I occasionally do a mandolin workshop, um, I, I use this as a, as a teaching tool because you're right, it does have everything, a lot of his licks in it.
A big hand for Lorraine. And one of my favorite bluegrass singers is going to do it right here, right now. It's Scott McBride. Give yeah. Scott a big hand. <laughs> oh, shucks. Engineer, reach up and pull the whistle. Let me hear that lonesome sound. For it blends with the feeling that's in me. The one I love has turned me down. Gonna catch me a freight train. Oh Lord, I'm leaving this lonesome town. The one I love and gave my heart to. For someone else, she's turned me down. Engineer, reach up and pull the whistle Let me hear that lonesome sound For it blends with the feeling that's in me The one I love has turned me down I'll write the last one till the end of the line I don't know where I'm going or where I'll wind up Just anything to ease my worried mind Engineer, reach up and pull the whistle let me hear that lonesome sound For it blends with the feeling that's in me The one I love has turned me down Well, engineer, reach up and pull the whistle let me hear that lonesome sound For it blends with the feeling that's in me The one I love has turned me down Surprise, uh, we got some good friends here, and I haven't seen some of them in a long time, as you know. I've said that several times. Uh, there is a, a, a rather inactive group, like a bluegrass gospel group, called Joyful Noise. And uh, I think it's a, the great finale here tonight. I, I would like to invite Sam Gore and Denise Herring. Yeah, and, and, and we're going to do a big sing-along. Sam, can you... Sammy. 
Pastor Sam Gore. He is a good friend. <laughs> Take this warning Don't let old Satan hold your hand You'd be lost in sin forever You'll never reach the promised land The old crossroad now is waiting Which one? Well, wrong road leads up to heaven The other goes down below Jesus, our Savior, will protect you He'll guide you by the old crossroad The old crossroad now is waiting Which one? You'll have to face the old crossroad Will you be ready then my brother To shun the one that goes down below The old crossroad now is waiting Which one are you gonna take? One leads down to destruction All right. Thank you. Well, thank you all again for coming out tonight. We really enjoyed playing uh, some music for you. Well, you sounded very inspired. You sounded great. Um, anyhow, folks. Yeah, I think we're going to take it out with a good gospel tune here. I believe it's an old uh, song that Wade Maynard wrote and Flat Scruggs made well known um, called Take Me in Your Lifeboat.
come, brothers and sisters, and don't fall asleep. We'll pray night and day, we'll sink in the deep. Well, fathers and mothers are praying so loud. Say, Lord, won't you take me in your life, Lord? Take me in your life, Lord, oh, take me in your life, Lord. It will stand the rain to storm. Take me in your life, Lord, oh, take me in your life, Lord. It will bear my spirit The clouds are so heavy, the wind is so loud The thunder is rolling in person in the clouds They played to their sinner mates for what they had done They took the dying sinner in his life boat. Thank, thank you, you folks thank for coming you. out. Appreciate it. Drive safely. Thank you so much, everybody. I hope you had a great time and drive safely. And we appreciate uh, appreciate you coming. Tell all your friends about it. The only way we're going to keep this place alive and going is for everybody to tell everybody and bring them all back. If you play bluegrass and uh, you want to be on the, the stage, you got a band, just let us know. Give us a call. If you want to come to the jam sessions, We'll see you here. Monday night is no banjos, and Tuesday night is you got to play with the banjo roll. So we'll see. We'll see you here. So I, I try. I'll be at both of them next week. Good night. God bless, and thank you so much. <laughs>